Welcome back to Zale's Tales, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. I am your host, Zale, your dragon driving the wagon. And you know what? I'm just gonna hit the button. There is much to be done. You see, I came into this episode with no plan. I figured I'll just look at the ship log and I'll come up with some sort of some sort of itinerary for the episode. So what do we got? Okay. Oh, gravity cannon. Selenium shuttle. Okay. So Alright. So yeah, we went on Brittle Hollow. We went to Brittle Hollow. We went to the Hanging City. We learned a couple of things about the Hanging City. We finally got a chance to explore the Hanging City. I don't think we explored all of it, but we explored some of it. I know my city is suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. And of course, there is more to explore here. So we are not through with the Hanging City, but we did discover that the Hanging City does connect directly to the Black Hole Forge. Uh, the Black Hole Forge is suspended below the Hanging City, and uh, the more I think about it, the more I realized that thing I barely dodged smashing into when I fell off the Hanging City, I think that was the Black Hole Forge. Um, I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the forge. Uh, the Black Hole Forge District is the highest district in the Hanging City. A Nomai named Poke planned to create a new advanced warp core in the Black Hole Forge. The Nomai crafted warp cores in the Black Hole Forge before delivering them to Ash Twin. Alright, so we learned... No, no, go back, go back. We're not done with you. Uh, alright, so we learned some stuff there. Um... Okay, you know what? You know what? I think this is gonna be a Quantum Moon episode. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get to know our, let's get to know our wandering friend here. Um, so, okay. The Quantum Moon. The Nomai on Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. The Nomai on Ember Twin observed a moon that would disappear when no one was watching. A Nomai named Selenum landed a shuttle on the Quantum Moon. We... Okay, so the, the shuttle was launched from the Gravity Cannon. Gravity Cannon on Brittle Hollow. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. I recalled a Nomai shuttle from the Quantum Moon. So that was... That was Selenum's shuttle? Uh, a Nomai named Selenum landed her shuttle on the Quantum Moon's south pole... Uh, and prepare to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. Okay. Uh, and so... Quantum Shrine. The Nomai built a shrine to the Quantum... To, on the Quantum Moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. The sixth location, though. The Quantum Moon somebody sometimes disappears possibly to an unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the Quantum Moon carried them to its sixth location, sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the Quantum Moon must be on the Moon's North Pole. Okay. So... Okay. So we're learning about this Moon. There's... Okay, we need to know more about these Quantum Signals. Um, okay, so we learned that the shards give off a signal, a quantum quantum signal or something. Yeah. Nomai detected quantum signal coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. And the Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Um, uh, let's go looking for some Swiss cheese. I mean, we're on Timber Hearth right now. Let's, let's find... 
Hold on. I need uh, uh, quantum fluctuations. See, there's some that are pretty close by. You see, yeah, that, that's, that's the... That's the shard. That's the shard that's in the museum. That's not the one. That's not the one it's talking about, though. Okay, which one is it talking about? Because like I discovered the museum. Shard. I discovered the museum shard, and it wasn't a big deal. No, one, you know that didn't even get a journal entry. Um, so what else is there? Is there something? Oh, there's something. Oh yeah, there, there's, there's something. Is it here? Is there something in here that I have not whoop whoop easy? Oh yeah, no there there's a there's some Swiss cheese in here. Chip? Okay, carry on. Um, okay, so... Oh, wait, there's a signpost over there. In the ancient glade, across old bark, it's always dark, the quiet shade. Is this a poem, or, or like, directions? Because... Cause I, I, whoa, whoa, hold on. Okay, is this? Aha! The poem is also Swiss cheese. Okay, where, where'd the poem go? Oh no, I, I lost it. Is it over there now? Okay. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. Across old bark, the quiet shade. Interesting. Okay, what's up here? Oh, whoa, there's like a... I mean, I think there's a special, I mean, like there's a spiral thing. It's like built into a tree. I think there's a special name for that. I can't remember what it's called. And you know what? Happy to spend some time on Timber Hearth. The least scary, the least dangerous planet. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. I've devised, or I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very, sig it's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as how no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal will reveal more about it. Okay, alright. So, considering considering this is on Timber Hearth, uh, this is probably one of the first things that we can discover if we if we explored Timber Hearth more before we before we blast it off on launch day. So I guess this is just another way you can learn about the quantum signal and you know, you, you get some information about the quantum moon. Um, I'm not... I'm not terribly certain if I'm looking for anything else here. Is that a geyser? Is that going to, like, blow me into the sky if I stand on it? I, I'm not going to risk it. See, even Timberhearth, being the, like, just most relaxing and chill planet in the solar system, does have its spicy side. You know, it has its quirks too. You know, they're just not so brutal that they kill you violently. Well, I mean, they can. I mean, I'm sure if you, I'm sure they could. 
Quantum Grove. Okay, so we, we found the Quantum Grove. There's a strange rock shard in this grove that f moves when it's not watching. It emits a signal uh, on the quantum fluctuations frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. Okay, it, apparently I've found everything there is to find here. Um, so I guess we'll move on to the quantum signal that's coming from somewhere in the hour on the hourglass twins. Um, This is all, this is all, this is all an effort, this is all in the effort to learn more about our little Swiss cheese moon, oh god, uh, wait, is that one going too? Man, I'm just, yeah, okay, yeah, wow, once you, once you notice the stars are all dying, it's really hard not to notice, god, poor shirt, um, Get back to um, no, let's let's not use let's not use um, let's not use autopilot when we're this close to the sun. Oh, that's the wrong button. Chasing it around the sun. I'm chasing it around the sun, and nothing good will come of using autopilot this close to the sun. So I'm going to go around. And I will, I will cut it off at the pass. something coming from Ember Twin. Let's get in there. Alright, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Whoa, whoa easy. like it's coming from oh is it coming from there there's like a little hole there yeah it's coming from down there cave anything? Am I just walking into where, am I just walking into where, like, this, whoop, no, tower shard, no, that's some, that's, that's a shard that's somewhere else. I'm realizing I actually haven't explored, I haven't actually explored the caves in Ember Shard particularly well, I just go straight to the, I, I, just go, I go straight to the, the site. Island shard. I can't remember which one that is. I think that's on. Is that on? That one's unknown. Wait. I think that's the. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. That is it. That's uh, that's our Swiss cheese moon. And boop, boop, and it's gone. Oh, hey, Shard. 
Are you doing better this time around? Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then? Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Find the sand now. Uh, what are you up to? Hornfells asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovas today. Usually it'd be fortunate just to see one. Keep an eye out for one. Keep, keep an eye out, uh, keep an eye out for on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Yeah. Okay. So he's he's already seeing it. It it hasn't quite become alarming yet. How do I know if I spotted a supernova? Supernovas look ex uh, look like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you'll see that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespan, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realize. Um, how dangerous is the big, big column of falling sand? On a scale of 1 to dead, I'd give it 7 or 8. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, the sand is falling from ash twin to ever twin, but do, do you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the flow back and forth between the twin, why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out, uh, check out the other twin once a little more of the sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Uh, I found no my writing about the quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? I, who wouldn't wonder about a moon that sometimes is there and sometimes and sometimes not? I observe the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps it'll. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. Oh, okay. I, I, I interrupted his drum solo. I've seen what ten supernova already? Twelve? They're they're in the double digits now, and that's you know not normal, not normal at all. Okay, all right. So, unfortunately, Chert is Chert is um. Okay, look, Chert, I. It's gonna get it's gonna get worse before it gets better. You just I don't know. Just, just just take it easy. I found no my writing about a hidden planet. How fascinating! It might interest you to know that the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible. If you look at the physics of our solar system, there would just be um, it would have to be incredibly far out there, farther than Harthian ships would be would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists. Okay, okay well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you, um, I'll let you freak out as you, as you will probably do. You know, see, witnessing 12 supernovas in like a single day would probably, okay, there's something right under us. There's something right under us. How do I... How, what's under us? How do I... How do I get under us? How do I get under us and not fall off a cliff? What about... What about down here? There's, yeah, there's something... There's something right here. Is it like in there? Is that a place I can go? Ooh, that, this looks serious. Alright, just a spooky cave. Hey, as long as it's not filling up with sand, I'm okay. I'm okay with it as long as it's not filling up with sand. Um, um, unidentified signal nearby. Could it possibly be... Another identified, unidentified signal nearby. Oh, okay. Cave shard. Okay, so this is, uh... Uh, interesting. 
Okay, what is what is this? What is this? Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace ever since during our research trip and has been missing ever since. Lore, some of us uh, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Bear. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about the unique wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, More? He disappeared in the caves at the bottom of the dry, uh, of the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened. In, it happened in an instant, without any warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a. Sh a uh, I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. And I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis: We will learn more by examining the northern northern lake bed cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Okay, so oh well, all right. So there's there was there's a Swiss cheese rock, and here it is again. Um, there was a Swiss cheese rock, and the uh, okay, northern lake bed cave. Um, I, can, I, I can go there maybe. How do I get out of here? It's gone again. Oh, it's it's back again. Um, is there a way to go this way? Or is this the way I came? Oh no, this is. Oh yeah, no, this is still filling up with sand. Uh, okay, well, I mean, at least I'm outside. I'd rather be outside while this is happening. Yeah, that sun's getting that sun's getting angry. Um, I feel like there's a very good chance. Ow! Twisted my ankle. Um, I feel like there's a very good chance that whatever lake bed cave they're talking about is probably full of sand by now, because that sun is pretty angry. And I don't think it's going to be that long before uh, the sun explodes. I do kind of want to just like keep looking around. I think this was no, this is this is where I was before. Yeah, that's slowly going up. You know, I don't, I don't think there's much that can be done here. Um, where's, where's, where's my boy Church? Where's my boy Church? Look, Chert, I know what you're going through right now. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna pop a squat and I'm gonna roast the marshmallows. I don't really have anything else to do this loop. I'm just kinda waiting for the next loop to start. I could meditate and just start the next loop over, but you know what, I'm here, so I may as well spend the time with you. Just like like what does it gotta feel like to 
figure out it's all over minutes before it's all over. And like, not, e not even like all over in a way that you can like do anything about. Just like, that's it. Well, you know, Chert isn't in a time loop. We are. And you know what? Maybe there's something we can do about this. Okay, you know what? Like, I know, I know it's probably not healthy to be eating this many marshmallows, but it's not like we're holding on to the calories. I wonder if I should spend just one loop. Oh, instantly on fire. I wonder if I should spend one loop this game just plowing through as many marshmallows as possible. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you're not okay. It's okay to not be okay, sure. It's okay to not be okay. Just saying hi. Uh, and it's interesting because we've sort of been introduced to two characters that kind of know what's going on, but from different perspectives. We have Chert, who, they are an astronomer, they are charting the stars, they realize the stars are dying minutes of minutes from, minutes from when our stars die, and they go into complete breakdown and can't do anything other than, I guess, play their drum, and I mean, based. Um, and then we have Gabro, who knows that we're in a time loop, but just kind of lies in his hammock and doesn't really do much. And, and like, is kind of just going along with it. Is kind of paralyzed by the fact that he's, they're they're paralyzed by the fact by that this is their existence now, and they're just playing their flute, lying in their hammock, and thinking about life. Better fill up my jet fuel. Hey, I wonder if I wonder if I use all my jet fuel if I could just jet if I could just get into the sun with my jetpack, like without any. Hey, shirt, watch this. Yup. Oh God, I just said. <sighs> Siri, not now. I'm trying to do something stupid. Uh, that did not go as I expected it would. Man, please stop. Please stop. Thank you. Alright, where was I? Huzzah! Wow, I have to like... I have to record with my phone out of the room if that's going to happen. What a weird loop. Okay, let's get let's get moving. Hourglass Twins, specifically Ember Twin. Where is Ember Twin? Where's the sun? Where's the sun? There's the sun. Uh, yeah, okay. Ember Twin, Ember Twin. While the autopilot is on, I'm gonna check my log. 
Okay, quantum cave. Lake bed cave. I notice a strange rock wandering that appears in multiple caves on Ember Twins' northern hemisphere. Um, okay. Now, the Nomai Cave Coley has mysteriously vanished from the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins' north pole. Okay, so we're going to the north pole. We're going to the north pole and we're gonna visit Sand Santa. There's like a thing that tells you what pole you're on. This is like, this is the quantum moon locator. This is the quantum moon locator. Is this, what, what pole is this? What, what pole is this? This is the, this is the south pole. So we, hey, no, come break, break, no, stop that. I need that. Okay, so this is the south pole. We need to go to the north pole. Hopefully this, uh, oh, is it like, oh yeah, okay, lake bed. So it's like down here, I think. Maybe? Ow, 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 oh, okay, ow. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna fill with sand real quick. I better be fast. Uh, 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 oh, jeez, oh, uh, duh. Okay, all right, all right, lake bed. This is a lake bed. Like my cave? Okay, I'm going into a cave. This, this is objectively a cave. I think we can all agree this is a cave. Um, this is a larger cave than I was expecting. Um, I can hear the sound. See, there's stalagmites. There's stalagmites over there. Okay, there's stalagmites in both locations. Um, what about over here? There's stalagmites over here. No. Okay, that's, uh, okay, there's stalagmites there, and, uh, this is, uh, whoa, uh, okay, fine, no problem. Uh, where to go from here? Up there? Going up? Okay, okay, I can't, I can't stand on the sand. Sand is moving very quickly. Okay, I stood on the sand again. Am I like stuck? I'm not stuck, I'm just... I'm not stuck, I'm just bad. Okay. Okay. We're making progress. I don't... I don't know what is in this cave. I honestly can't remember, even even though I played this game before. Um, try not to get lost. Just hug the left wall. Cactus, cactus. Um, wait, no, is this back out? Oh, ah, ah! Those cactuses were not there before. Wait. Goddamn Swiss cheese cactuses? Is that what I have to contend with now? Teleporting in, like, right next to me and stabbing me to death? Is that what's full of, that's, is that what's in this cave? Are you, are you a Swiss cheese cactus? You are a Swiss cheese cactus. How dare you? 
You, I bet you're a Swiss cheese cactus too. I'm, I'm just not giving any of these Swiss cheese cactuses any respect, because they give me, they're giving me zero. Ah, oh, trees, nice. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. Um. If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where he was when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. But what happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock, and taking notes. And then my lantern died. When I lit it up again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Your strange Wandering Rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Elise and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks at least two in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Okay. Well. So, okay. What what is what is this? What is what does this do? Is it a light switch? Is that just it just turns the lights on and off? Uh, whoa, okay, alright. Well, uh... So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Turn on the lights. Turn off the lights. Okay. Ugh. Even this control panel is Swiss cheese. So, so, I'm observing it. Their lantern died. The lights are off. Wait, so, I see. So, What? No, ro no rock, rock, no rock, no rock, no rock, rock. Okay. So does that mean... Does that mean... Ow. Does that mean that Coleus just got on... Damn it. Does that mean just Coleus just got up on the rock and... I see. Where are we now? I don't, I'm afraid to get off the rock for some reason. This 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 cave is just completely boxed in. There doesn't appear to be any way out of this cave. Oh, wait, no, is there? Oh no, there's a writing here. Oh, it's from Coleus. How curious! This rock took took me with it on to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if my, yeah, I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the, the clearest explanation. Hypothesis: If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melora is here now too. We theorize when when con when a consciousness being is in contact with the qu with a quantum object, it's and it ceases to act as an observe. Okay, one more time. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object, and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness. Uh, the being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised that he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Curious, but also alarming, this new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit, although the rock that brought me here has disappeared... Uh, it, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen.
right, onward. Okay, this is where it was before. This, this is where they were like, wait, was it? I've already read this text, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I've, I've read this text before. Yeah, I've read that text before. Uh, cool, okay, so... Quantum... Quantum... You just go here, go here. Look at me go, look at me go. Look at me go, I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm, I'm a quantum... I'm a quantum dervish. Just whirling around from place to place. Okay, what is... I don't... Okay, well... So... We've learned a lot. Maybe we need to go back to the ship. The ship is not too far from here. I wonder if the ship got buried in sand or if it just sort of floats on top. It would be nice if it just sort of floated on top. Aha, excellent. I guess I twisted my ankle at some point. Alright. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just fly out a little bit. Let's just you know what? Let's Where's where's Timber Hearth? Is, there, is that Timber Hearth? Nope. Hold on, hold on. Let's just let's just float in orbit around Timber Hearth. A moment. Please don't fly me into the sun. You're gonna fly me into the sun. Don't fly me into the sun. I don't want to go into the sun right now. Sometimes I want to go into the sun. This is not one of those times. Okay, thank you for understanding. Bed cave. Um, okay. So, a gnome named Coleus was standing on the wandering rock when another gnome's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus when Coleus and the rock were both gone. To travel to to travel with a quantum object, you must stand on the object and cease to observe any surroundings, meaning it must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum rule to escape the cave he was trapped in. Coleus and Malore returned to examine the rock, but they theorized. They theorize that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object, it ceases to observe his or her and ceases to observe his or her surroundings. The being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they both move together. Okay. So we still have some pretty big question marks, and you know what? All of the pretty big question marks. Yeah. All of the pretty big question marks are just the quantum moon. And you know what? We've learned about the quantum moon. We've learned about quantum mechanics just in general. I'm going to try to land on it. I'm going to try to land on the quantum moon now. I wish I knew exactly how much time we had left in the loop. In fact, I'm almost tempted to just burn the rest of this loop and just start again and just go straight for the quantum moon with like a fresh loop. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just, we're just gonna post up in our ship. I don't know if we have like a bed in here. Um, 
I mean, I don't see one. I guess we can just sit in our pilot's chair. Let's just sit in our pilot's chair. Let's close our eyes. And let's think about what we're going to try to do next loop. Chert, you're not Chert. Slate. Hey, Slate. You know the quantum moon? I'm gonna land on it right now. I've never been to space before. I've never once explored space, and I'm gonna do something no Harthian has ever done before. Check this shit out. There's a pre-flight checklist? Huh. This is, this is just like... Okay. Cool. I didn't... I had no idea that... I, I had no idea that option existed. It's just like accessibility options and stuff. Alright. Now that I'm like 15 hours into this game, yeah. It's, it's the first time I've noticed that. like I've been flying this ship a ton and I've only I've only now determined there's an instruction manual okay all right the first step of landing on the quantum moon is figuring out where the quantum moon is but thanks to our research we know that the quantum moon gives off quantum fluctuations so if we look around for quantum fluctuations uh, there's some that's the cave shard not interested in the cave shard. We need quantum fluctuations that are unknown in origin. That's the museum shard. Oh, they're, those quantum fluctuations are loud. Um, no, that's the museum shard. Um, the tower shard. Okay, is it by? Okay, well, let's just get a little closer. Is it over there? Let's let's knock off our options here. We know it. We know it goes by Dark Bramble. Is it by Dark Bramble? Currently, no. It is not currently by Dark Bramble. There are no quantum fluctuations by Dark Bramble. Uh, is it by? Okay. We know there are other shards on Timber Hearth. I'm only seeing. I'm only seeing one moon by Timber. Oh God! I keep on forgetting we need to investigate the interloper. Ugh. I'll get to you, Interloper, eventually. I'm sure I'm sure there's nothing important on the Interloper. It's probably fine. Um, okay, that's the Addle Rock. Um, okay, so where's where's Giant Steve? There's Giant Steve. Um, Island Shard. Unknown, unknown, unknown. It's, it's by Giant Steve. going behind Giant Steep right now, and, oh no, it's going in front, perfect, that's, that's so much better. Can I target it? Yes, okay, I can see it. I have you now. Okay. So, here we are. Here we are, this is the Quantum Moon. We, we, we know, we know that... Not really sure why the autopilot is behaving this way, but 
it's fine. It's fine. We just have to keep looking at it. Okay. There it is. There's there's our there's our quantum. There's our quantum. Uh okay, so uh uh Right, uh, no, first, first, first thing, first thing, uh, we got to take a picture of it. There. We have a picture of it right there. Um, so, we'll just, just carefully, carefully, carefully. Carefully. That, that. Huh. And that's how you land on a quantum moon. I can't believe I was the first person to figure this out. Oh, I wasn't the first person to figure this out. I was the first Harthian to figure this out. Um, is this my scout? I think this is my scout. Oh yeah, hey there. I've actually never taken a, a I've never taken a picture of myself. You know what? This is, this is my first time. I, I gotta take a selfie now that I've I've landed on the quantum moon. Something no Harthian has ever done before. Um. Yeah, just take, take a picture for posterity. Uh, whoa. Okay, you're you're moving. You definitely moved, which I find upsetting because. I think you're a corpse? I'm pretty sure you're a no my corpse. Please continue to be a no my corpse, if you don't mind. Alright, where are we? This is, it's just water. Just, oh, please not, okay. Okay, it doesn't, it's just water. It's just, it's just water, okay. Um, I mean, it's not deep water. Okay, there's some land. Um, whoa. Whoa. Wait. What is... Oh no, th this is the ship from the gravity cannon. This is, this is the ship. Okay, so now this is the ship that I recalled using the gravity cannon because it said it was on the quantum moon. So this is Selenium's ship? Okay, I want to go inside, but I don't want to launch because if I launch, if I launch off the quantum moon at this point, it would be a big pain in the ass. Um, yeah, okay, actually, this is just the same text. Well, maybe I don't need to. Maybe I don't need to read that. There's an un there's a signal nearby. Okay, quantum moon. Yes, I am definitely very close to the quantum moon at this point. I feel like I'm just gonna. Anywhere I look, yeah, everywhere I look, I'm just getting the quantum moon signal. Um, it's just water. It's, it's just water. Why is... It's just like ankle-deep water. Why is that so unnerving? Wait. Oh, wait, what? It's... It's a... It's a very slow-moving... It's a very slow-moving, very polite vortex, like the ones on Giant's Deep. That's strange. I, there was something else here a minute ago, I swear. But I think everything here is Swiss cheese. Okay. Marble friend? OK. 
okay. Oh, this 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 must be the shrine. Yeah, no, this is the shrine. What is so what do we got here? We've got uh, an indicator. These are planets. Okay, so this is we've seen these icons before at this point. This planet represents this this icon represents the hourglass twins. This one represents Timber Hearth. This one represents Brittle Hollow. This one represents Giant Steep. This one represents Dark Bramble. This... This one represents the Eye of the Universe. And this is the Quantum Moon. This, this, this icon here represents the Quantum Moon. The Quantum Moon is currently outside of Giant's Deep. Is... Is that why there's... Is that why it's like there's water everywhere? I mean, this definitely, this place definitely shares a resemblance to Giant's Deep, at least superficially. So wait, these are the. These are the three rules of this is this is the this is the this is the first place I went. The 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 Tower of Quantum Trials on, on Giant's Deep. Um This is the This is the one that was on Brittle Hollow that I had to like go to outside and that I like rushed to get to while I was running out. And this is like this is like the rock in the cave. So this these are like supposed to represent these are like places where I learn shit. Okay, what does this do? What does this do? Oh. It's it's That was a light that was a light switch. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Wait, so... Does that mean... Oh... Okay. You know, of, of all the planets, the quantum moon could... replicate at this moment in time? You know what? I not a fan of dark br oh shit. Uh shrine? Shrine? Shrine. Please come back, Shrine. I I don't want okay, thank God. Uh okay, so Okay, so we've learned that the shrine we can use the shrine to like manipulate where the moon is. Okay, so so if I close this again. Oh. Oh. What what does this even mean? What what is this even What does this even mean? What am I even Oh, okay. It's But, 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 but I wanna. Oh, uh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let, let's think about this for a second. Let's think about this for a second. Giant steep. We've we've been to giant steep before. Uh. Wait. Now we're at, now we're on timber cars. I can already hear the geysers. I can already hear those extremely loud geysers. Yeah. What do you know? We got, we got a little geyser here. We got. Whoop. 
Yeah, we just... It's just Timber Hearth. It's, it's just Timber Hearth. Is there anything else here other than the shrine that I need to find? Yeah, it's just a little... It's got like a little river. Okay. Um, oh, I mean, I guess the good thing about being on the Timber Hearth reflection is that it's got trees, so it refilled my oxygen. But I want to get to the... Suddenly, suddenly it all makes sense now. I want to get to the... I want to get to the sixth location. It's the sixth location. Hold on. Loud noises. I want to get to the sixth location because... If, if that diagram is to be believed, the sixth location is the eye of the universe. And this might be, like, our first chance to, like, finally understand what that is. But, like... I don't know, I, I, I'm just wandering around with this planet that has, like, nothing on it. Or this moon, sorry. Is this my ship? Wait, no, no, this is, this is just some rocks. Wait, where is my ship? Where is my ship? My ship? I, I don't, I don't know where my ship is. Okay, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm just on this planet for now. This, this moon, sorry. Okay. So... So, okay. So that's, that's all well and good. Um, what does... Brittle Hollow, okay. What does Brittle Hollow look like in Quantum Moon 4? Okay. It's, uh, very icy. It's very jagged. Um, I hope there isn't, like, a little tiny lava moon that's pelting us with... pelting us with stuff. Okay. No, there was... There was something else. There's something that I'm missing. There's something that I'm forgetting. And it had to do with the shrine. Like, I want to get to the sixth location, but there's, like, a thing I have to do. It has to do with the shrine. And oh, there's nothing... There's nothing out here. There's nothing out here. This is just... This is a dead end. And, and the shrine's gone again. And, and it's back again. Okay, well, we haven't seen, we haven't seen all of the locations here yet, maybe, come on, I want to see the Hourglass Twins. here. Why is it not going to the Hourglass Twins? It's, this is crazy making. Like, is there something about quantum mechanics that I'm failing to understand here? I wouldn't blame it. I wouldn't blame me if, if that was the case, because I imagine that there's a lot about quantum mechanics I don't understand. Okay, I, I don't, I don't understand why it's not going to the Hourglass Twins. Why is it not going to the Hourglass Twins? I, okay, I'm going to give it ten more tries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Why is it not going there? Okay, hold on. Let me go to let me go back to Giant Giant's Deep. I feel like that's one that's one I didn't really investigate all that well. I mean 
I also feel like there's probably not that much to investigate here. Um, so, I think... I've been thinking about it. I think I remember what it said I needed to do. I need to somehow get the shrine on the North Pole. But I have no idea how to do that. I clearly can't do that here, because there's a big tornado. And I'm figuring... I, I, I don't want to get, like, launched off the moon, or, like... I don't want to get my, like, spine broken by walking into a tornado. But, like, for example, the... the the, the North Pole here looks pretty serious. Like, maybe, maybe I can get there, maybe I can't. I don't, I don't think I can get there. I'm, I'm like, trying to think of how I would even get there. The, uh, the, um, it, it said that ships landing on Quantum Moon always land on the South Pole. Like, regardless of what part of the moon they land on, they land on the South Pole. So, how do I get... How do I get in there? Do I just have to go to a different planet? Where's the shrine? I've already lost track of the shrine. Ah! Did a little island fall on me? Ugh. This place is kind of... Oh, God, okay. Alright, you know what? I've frittered away this loop, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I am, for the sake of science, I am just gonna see what happens if I just, like, walk into here. I'm probably just gonna get catapulted into space, and then I'm gonna die in space. Uh, okay. No, nothing that exciting. Unless, can I go, like, up and over it? Oh dear. And it's gone. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. It's gone. Okay. I don't think that's the solution. But I had to try because I was running out of time. It looks like my ship fell off the moon at some point. Um. Oh, hey. Good news, guys. I'm trapped in the gravitational pull of Giant's Deep. Whee! Oh, crap. Okay. All right. And... Okay. Oh, hey. I landed outside the Tower of Quantum Trials. Incidentally. Okay, well, obviously we're going back to the Quantum Moon. I cannot leave... I cannot leave a Quantum Moon-related episode of this much of a cliffhanger. You know what? I know, I know you're exploding, son, but I'm not gonna let you ruin my zen. Quantum Moon by. Okay, I just I just need to review my notes on the Quantum Moon real quick. So now that I've actually been there, now that I've actually been there, there it is, Quantum Moon. Um, uh, I was able to land on the surface of the Quantum Moon. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. Um, okay, so the Quantum Shrine. Nomai built the shrine of the Quantum Moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. The sixth location. Sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Um, okay, to explore the sixth location, the shrine on the Quantum Moon must be on the Moon's North Pole. Okay. So, that confirms it. I have to get the Moon. I have to get the Moon to... Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't put my suit on. get the moon. I need to 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 get the moon
get the shrine on the moon to the right location. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Is that it? No. No. Is that it? There's a cave shard and it's on... Oh, wait. Quantum moon? Yeah, that's the quantum moon, alright. Oh, I'd recognize that moon anywhere. You don't need the eerie echoes of the quantum fluctuations for the areas right now. What we need is our scout. Oh, great, we're flying near Hollow's Lantern. Please don't snipe me. Okay. Um, bam. Quantum moon photograph. Perfect. Fly right in. Don't be scared this time. It's just a moon. What? All right, that's, I kind of, I think I bounced off it. Okay, don't fly in that hard. Oop, bump. Okay, all right. So uh, here we are. Here we are. We're on the, we are on the brittle, we are on the brittle hollow. We are on the brittle hollow reflection of the quantum moon. It's, it's a little rocky. Um, Alright, let's get to the South Pole. Let's see, or sorry, the North Pole. Let's get to the North Pole and let's see if we can make the shrine appear there. Because I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Um, okay, there's a big, there's a big hill there. I think, if, okay, so the, the atmosphere for the quantum moon is very tiny. Like, th those clouds up there, they're not even that high up, and, uh, they, they, you know, if I go above them, I'm just gonna get kicked off the planet. And that will be bad. Okay, th there's nothing- oh, hey, oh, this guy's here. That is upsetting. There's my, there's my ship. Where's the shrine is the problem. Where is the shrine? I would like to find the shrine, please. Oh, wow. Wow, the gravity here is so small. It's 0.4. Oh, there's the shrine. Okay, we need to... Maybe I can get on the Hourglass Twins this time. Maybe the game just bugged. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it just bugged. Can't go there yet. Don't want to go there. See? Aha! There we go. Alright, finally. I don't know why that wasn't happening for me last time. Alright, we got sand. We got sand. We got sand. We got little slow moving sand pillars. Um, we have cactuses. Ooh, ooh. Just the slightest, just the slightest, just the slightest hit of the jetpack sends me absolutely flying. Ow. Well, I didn't break my bones doing that. Alright, I'm just, I'm just going around, and it just seems like there's no way to go north. So... Okay. So... So yeah, I'm looking at the reflection. I'm looking at the Ember Twin reflection. Ow, 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 don't go into space. Well, I'm, I'm really cruising now. I'm really cruising. Okay. Um, where's where's the shrine? I need the shrine. This this is nothing. There there's no way to go north. It's just this is just a big waste of time. And I do not. I just I want to I want to figure out what's going on with this place before the end of this episode so badly, so badly. Uh, please. 
please? Where's the shrine? If I just spin around and... Oh, there's the shrine. Oh, I'm art. I've also almost used all my fuel. I should probably be careful about that. Okay, you know what? There's one location I haven't explored that much. And it's because I just have a... No, not that one. There we go. Okay. Now look, Dark Bramble. Dark Bramble, I know I've been avoiding you. I know I've been avoiding you because you're scary. But... You're, this isn't even Dark Bramble. This is like... This is like a twisted reflection of Dark Bramble. And you know what? It's letting me go pretty far north. Scary vines. for me. There's, there's just nowhere to go. I get I get all the way up to the North Pole and there's nothing there's no way to get there. It's it's always blocked by something. Okay, I've 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 walked in circles, I can't waste any more time. Um, Dark Bramble is a bust. Uh, Hourglass Twins are a bust. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure uh, Giant's Deep is a bust. Because of the tornado. What's left? Um, oh yeah, no, Brittle Hall is a bust. So like, what else is there? What else could there be? I, there's like no way to get to the North Pole. There you are. We could try Timber Hearth? I feel like I've already tried Timber Hearth, though. I feel like I've already tried Timber Hearth, but I have to try again. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I'm just facing the wrong way. Okay, so this is, these are just these are just mountains. These are just mountains. Okay, we're just we're stuck on the South Pole again. The the only the only locations that let me get even remotely close to the South Pole are sorry north pole are um giants deep are giants deep and um dark bramble so what am i supposed to do like giants deep is like giants deep is, i think it lets me get the closest but lets me get pretty close because there's no terrain it's just water so like what am I supposed to do here there's just a big tornado am I supposed to find a spot where the tornado just isn't a tornado I feel like I'm not going to get that
big splash. Making a big splash. Okay, there's 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 no way. There's no entrance way. What is what is it? What am I missing? What am I not? What am I not considering? Close to the North Pole, but it's, the North Pole, but it's not on the North Pole. Oh, please. Uh, okay. Why do I feel like I need to go back to Dark Ramble? I don't. I don't know why I have to feel like I need to go back to Dark Ramble. there's like some sort of cave or some sort of way into the North Pole that I'm just not seeing because like how am I supposed to get the how am I supposed to get the shrine there if I can't get myself there or where's the shrine Where, where's the shrine hold on I, I'm thinking. I'm, my brain's happening. Where's the shrine? There's the shrine. Okay. 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 The shrine doesn't move. When I do this, oh right, this is the, this is the, right. Okay, this puzzle is destroying me. I just need to, like... Yeah, fuel, fuel. I've done most of these, but the rule of the sixth location is destroying me right now. Ship's log is updated again. Okay, well... Okay. Just gotta keep trying. I don't think the solution... I don't think the solution is out there. Scout moving along. Hold on. Okay, so I'm observing a location right now. So it's not changing. Okay, um. Call the scout. Yeah, that changes. Is there a way that I can use. To scout, to like, like if I'm observing, if I'm observing, say the tower. And if 
I'm observing the tower, it's not going to change, right? Yeah, okay. It won't change if I'm observing the tower with a photograph. Uh, even from the inside? Yeah, okay. Even from the inside. Um, okay. Without an image, without an image, it teleports. fly the ship to the North Pole? That, there's no way I'm going to be able to control it well enough to actually do that. Okay, there's some sort of clever something that I just can't remember or can't something. Can I, like, get on top of the ship? Nope. Wow. Even just getting on top of the ship nearly takes me out of the atmosphere of this planet. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold, this is, wait, using oxygen, this, this is, at, this is at the North Pole, this is at the North Pole, using oxygen as propellant, that's short-sighted, wait, 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 time. Where am I? stone, explain stone, me stone, quantum moon stone, you stone, I of the universe stone. Identify you. I am Selena, a Nomai. My clan arrived in this star system. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and now we call it home. Uh, okay. Um, uh, uh, identify quantum moon? This is the quantum moon. We are both, where we are both standing. Despite also orbiting in other, cel other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon.
about the eye of the universe. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this solar system. Okay, well, well uh, can you can you identify can you identify me? I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, no, please, please. I need to. I need to. Uh, I need to know more. <laughs> please, the. Uh, uh, tell me. Explain the. Explain the eye of the universe. There is a fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that break off from the quantum moon have a, stu have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conspicuous observation forces a quantum object to collapse into a single possibility. But what could happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Uh, 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 uh I explain you. I am my, f I am, I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my and my clan make this journey where, when they come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here, I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from, from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. No, 